So the problem with Dreamhouse number one, though, is it's too big and too expensive to work as a buy to let. And it's not going to make me profit if I run it as a buy to let. It's actually going to make me loss running this big house as a buy to let. And then I get this idea. I call up a company that specializes in renting large houses. Now, they looked at our house and they come back and they give me some projections for renting it out as a holiday let. And they gave us two different projections. They said the first is that this property will bring in revenue income over a year of £65,000 a year. And the second projection, which depends on the level of flexibility we can give them in terms of the bookings, is that they'll create a revenue of £85,000 a year. Now, those numbers sound amazing. And I'm completely skeptical at this point, as you can imagine. You know, I knew nothing about holiday lets. And I was terrified that this wouldn't work, that we'd spend all the money to set it up as a holiday let, or we'd, we'd, we'd put the work in to set it up as a holiday let, and then it wouldn't work and we'd lose a load of money. So I decided to trust this company that specialised in renting large houses as holiday lets. And this company have been absolutely true to their word. They told me that the house would be rented for 44 weeks of each year on average. In reality, it's rented for at least, at least 50 weeks every year since. In fact, over the last five years, the property has only had six empty weeks. So they could claim an average of 51 weeks a year if they wanted to. Their results blew my wildest expectations out of the water. Their £85,000 income projection turned into a £90,000 income. So I'm absolutely delighted with the results. And all I can think of is I've got to get more of these houses. That's what I'm like. You know, if something works, you want more of it.